Today everyone and welcome back to Gamer Hacks. Today I'm gonna show you the full commentary run from for my Sork and by the way I was cool fighter in this raid even though I was actually brogging this raid for 6 hours or even more the same day. Of course I did that in the previous day like I think I brogged a total of 20 hours or something. This raid was one of the hardest raids I ever done. Not because the raid hard but because someone always die early. So we keep beating phase 1 over and over. This is the only problem about this raid. Other than that, I think the raid, the raid is really easy, especially for Sorks, because literally you can DBS most of the time. There is no way you will stop DBS. So let's focus now. Uh, by the way, for Sork, the mana burning thing is the most important, so make sure to play with either Baladin or Bard, or if you are, have Arthas to your party, ask him to remove the mana tripod. Because sometimes you have to dodge, and if, the, if you are playing with artists, it will be super hard to maintain your uh, mana burning. Okay. Have my igniter. By the way, I will use it here, no problem. You still can land your doomsday if someone got hit. Just complete your the rest of your igniter on that guy. Like this. Problem. Now we are in the mana burning. Close your igniter. Collecting it again. Okay. Thanks God the support didn't fail it. <laughs> By the way, I want to say I was playing with one of the best paladin ever, like this one was perfect with this paladin. The paladin was great. Just if you're watching the video, I'm sh <laughs> shout out to you, brother. You're the best. Okay, for this mechanic in normal, it doesn't really matter if if two player uh, stayed on the same tile. So this is make it a lot easier than hard, of course. So you can also use that in your favor to uh, manage your your map and stuff. So it's not really become harder for you. 347, nice. Okay, there was a dark thing. In my last Tuesday, jump. I had enough time to stand. Hey, Stugger. Sadly, I don't have Igniter yet. Finally, I will collect it soon. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. She would travel? Uh, I didn't, I didn't. I wish I could get the other, the other stuff, but never mind. I will try to collect my ignited during that. Um, and also try to, if you could see a bang or something, try to help them with counters. But we fair, in that in that specific raid, I didn't help a lot. Like, my team was great in countering, so I didn't need to help them. Like I could see it here, there, I tried to get it, but of course someone else got it before me. I didn't help a lot in this mechanic to be fair, but normally I can get like one or two counters as well. Which is actually enough for, for you as a sword. Two counter is great. Okay, I'm gonna put, put it here. The map management is really important in this way. There. And by the way, if you are casting your awakening, make sure you never stand on a red tile while you are casting your awakening. For any class, by the way, not only sword. So, because most likely, if the boss started a mechanic that he turns this tile to red, you are dead. This button just stay behind the boss. With this button, don't stay here because if I stand here, most likely I will get stuck and die. So make sure to go away from the boss. Like, really away from the boss. Sometimes I can go back to DBS, but this time I didn't want to risk it. Never it mind. Be easy to escape me. Okay. With that mechanic, of course, it's a run mechanic, but make sure to save a space bar and only use space bar if you saw a red tile or if you see these flies that fly around the map. Okay, once I see them, I just space bar. By the way, you are immune completely to these flies if you use space bar. So, 
The most important is the timer. If you have X, you can use it, but I don't recommend as a sword because you need X for that. Okay. For normal, I I love this pattern. It's a lot easier. He's trying to tell him like go front the mirror, but it's okay. We got it somehow. Hope everyone stays alive for the next phase. The target is on me. Let me. Oh, okay. I didn't see the other guy. That was. Oh my god, that was my death. Like. I just noticed that the other guy actually got the lead on me. I was trying to, you know, space bar outside. By the way, you could do this mechanic without even space barring, but it was my mistake. But thanks god I'm alive. During this battle, I, again, as a sword, yeah, you don't stop DPS. We did better and still stay near back then go outside but I couldn't this time and I got one stack that was Oh my god two flash orbs that's awesome Okay I'm gonna go out uh, I don't trust him and we it's only it's already 137 I'm not sure why did the boss start this this mechanic Yeah he should travel now to the next phase or maybe? Wait. Yeah. Should travel now to the next one. With this mechanic, make sure to watch the boss hands and jump through these stuff, things. And always stay away from his hand once it moves. Like, as you can see, I will just stay left side. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'm head. That, that was pretty bad for me. The counter? Okay, we, we, we used Star early, so that's why we're gonna stop DBS now, uh, I mean stop staggering now, because we need the Clash, so we get these three uh, stuff back, the points back, so we're gonna use the, the Clash, then we continue, oh my god, the Medusa and the guy, who, who was Eclipse? Oh my god, we lost someone super early, this edge. No, 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 he's not the Eclipse guy, thanks God. <laughs> it's someone else. I think it was the other sword. Yeah, this is the problem about this raid. If you lost someone, be, the, by the way, this is the Medusa. When she make this with eyes, be careful about the Medusa. And be careful, about, of course, about the grabs as well. We should did, we should have done some stagger or even using sword after the stagger. So that, that was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Okay, we did the stagger. Yeah, we lost someone because we we did this mechanic that way, but so it's okay. The guy didn't know the Medusa pattern, by the way the Medusa pattern is one shot. If you got hit by the Medusa, it's one shot. Whatever it is must be vicious and Okay, for this pattern, just stay outside, you as a sword. By the way, I entered this basement only three times. Uh, by the way, be careful from these red stuff. The, the best option for you is to stack together near the boss, then go outside together as well, as a player. Doesn't matter if you're melee or ranged, just stack near the boss, so these things spawn near the boss, and so you can go near and both damage. By the way, this pattern, keep attacking Gazasu. You don't really have to run away directly. Even for other classes, I guess also you can do that, but as a sword, later you will watch me doing my entire ignite if you're this pattern. Okay, what you gonna do? Oh, that, that, this is the first snake. Okay, use the igniter. Oh my god, oh my, I forgot that screen. Okay, remember, I will use it late. I should have used it early, but never mind. We got it. We got it anyway. Our DBS is not bad, even with someone is dead. Okay. This is a good a chance to use Awakening since I don't have any skills and of course the snake will not kill me or anything. Okay, for this pattern, I'm gonna stay in the front and attacking. You will see that I am... It's really hard to collect my igniter now because I, I met the mana burning. Because I stopped DBS for some time. Okay, this pattern is really good for sword. 
because the bus is not moving a lot and you can literally do your entire igniter during this part. That's why I told you this can be the best pattern for Sora. Yeah. This is a burn. Okay, he used the... Uh, there he is. We don't have to do the mechanics. Okay, this clash. Someone is going to take it. Let's go, I guess. Again, because I'm not used to this, I I forgot my hat. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting it for some reason. But we have enough DBS, so I think we are chilling. It, it, the the stick will come one more time, so it's it's fine. Medusa, did you see the eye? Don't look, of course. Okay, I will need to stagger the boss. Nice. He grabbed someone, and he didn't stagger, most likely this guy is dead. As far as I know, I'm not sure if he can survive it, but most likely he's dead. If the boss, by the way, hits a wall, he normally back down like this, and also snow, there's no, uh, I mean, spoons and flowers. That was a Medusa game, she did it twice for some reason. Okay. okay, I still have my igniter. Nice. Okay, I'm in mana burning. I will be able to be able to collect the igniter in the fastest time. The snake is dead early. Now we have 30% more damage with the boss. This battle, I recommend for any class, even sword, stop attacking. Yeah, because this pattern is crazy. Oh my god, it's 400 now. Nice. But he, yeah, the boss got dark as well. This pattern is crazy, it's crazy good by the way. The sword, but people who skin the far. Okay, we can free him. Then after the last attack, he do this. This one, I was trying to free him, but yeah, I got I got one stack. I shouldn't come really near from the boss to make this work. Also, guys, during snakes, the sork is, the sork is awesome because blaze is multi-hit, and you can literally use it on the snake. Who's oh? He got so the blaze should be enough. But it yeah, they actually like what, uh, some of my attacks or almost mo mo most of the sork's attacks are multi. -hit, so you don't really need to do anything. Just Use blaze, one of the snakes, and that's it. Okay, we got it. yeah, we got it. And of course, if you're done with your side, make sure to help the other side. By the way, we done it with someone is dead, and this is the second time in this game. This team. Okay, nighter. Four hundred. Let's go. Nice four hundred team with explosion. Which is, was higher than my doomsday. <laughs> I think uh, I got my my buffs from the uh, support play. Okay, the mirror mechanics. Make sure to stay in the back of the side of the mirror. Okay, always stay in the back. That's it. The, the, this guy literally made a, a huge bad bang. Like I'm not sure even why did he bang. He the soul eater is there. But this guy made a huge mistake, and actually I followed this bank for some reason. Like, I, I should follow the mirror instead of any banks. You don't have to follow banks, by the way. Okay, yes. Like, okay, videos again. Maybe. Grab, 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 make sure you don't get grabbed. Oh, it's a lot of person in DBS. She keep ma making this pattern over and over, but some people are going away. This is make it harder for me and other players. Make sure to stick to the boss during this pattern, by the way. Okay, got this guy back. Uh huh. I used my super armor, I couldn't um, counter. I should have used my super armor. But later, of course, after using, uh, after getting used to this way, it will be a lot easier. 
Okay, we will be burning the boss again one more time. Oh! I opened my igniter without the full. Oh my god, that was super bad. I was of course super nervous at this part at this part because the boss was going to enrage soon. Yeah, but that was super bad. I, I didn't commit my igniter and of course you notice, you notice that I got really low damage in this. Yeah, but it's okay. I think we still have a chance. Yeah. I normally don't do such mistakes in normal raid, but I was really nervous. <laughs> Okay, for this one you stay out, but I was really in for for some reason. Okay, 300. Yeah, let's go! Finally! And, by the way, this is the reward and Cruel Fighter. Thanks guys for watching, see you guys in the next one. Bye.